Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Liquid Brain. So I work a lot with Markdown file because I feel like it helps me better in understanding my train of thoughts. I can actually section my thinking into chunk, but also it helps to make my code a lot more readable for other people because it's broken down into chunks, as well as making it more repeatable. If someone need to reconfigure a certain chunk in some other project, I feel like this is a much more convenient way to do so rather than packaging everything in R and having multiple R files. I feel like this is just a cleaner way, easier way for me to report my data as well as understanding how I code. And you know, when I want to revise my own code, I can understand what I'm actually doing. So I found the blog online on RStudio on some tips and tricks. Actually, you can see right here, I include this blog on the on our studio ID and how you can actually use the R studio ID to better uh, manipulate your code in a markdown. And there's a huge recent update on how you can actually make it easier. So these are just a few and I'll hope just run through it one by one. So the first one is actually show the plot in the view panel versus inline. So if you don't know that markdown file, when you run this code, for example, you actually plot it right inside your code chunk and in certain situation you don't want that for example you had you want to test it out your code you want it to put it on the bottom right corner all you have to do is go to the um, gear button over here chunk output in console and once you've done that when you run it you actually export it to the bottom right corner for cleaner cleaner and shorter code second thing you can actually drag and drop your formula from Wikipedia into your R Markdown document. So what, once you drag and drop into the R Markdown format, I can't actually show you right here, but it will actually show up as a SVG link. So make sure you put the link inside the, the text area and not the code area so that when you actually uh, need the, the, the report out, it will actually show up as the the equation that you actually drag in. So it's actually any SVG media, but specifically they're talking about Wikipedia uh, equation because I think that's what most people will be using this for. Okay, so of course the, the make sure that you are placing the URL outside the code chunk, otherwise it will not work. Trust me, I tried. Okay, so the, the third one is one of my favorite, it's called the visual editor. So you just go to the top left corner and press visual and that will actually make the, the code much easier uh, it would able to directly visualize the code rather than going through like the you know the syntax of how the bolding italics underlines and size and all that thing so you can see that one two three these are title so title you can actually see that there's a, a hashtag in front uh, as what young people say it and you can actually see that these are the title and the title is automatically put in a certain format and all the th links are put in a certain format and so on and so forth. Yeah, it still doesn't actually automatically convert the SVG. You have to do it in the in the knitting process. Okay, so this is make it so much easier for you to, for example, um, change the both italics of it on the certain things. Oh, it doesn't work here. It only works inside the thing. Yeah, let's just try to change our things here. So you can see that, yeah, you, you can actually change it quite easily on this thing. Okay. Yeah, so all the header one, header two, header six, you can actually change here. And all the format are now in more like a Microsoft Word type situation rather than, then you need to remember all the syntax as well as all the LaTeX citation and table and so on, just to make things a lot easier for people that are not familiar with the syntax in RMD. Okay, so let's go for the next one is actually write the code chunk option inside the code chunk with uh, pound slash straight line, something like that. Okay, so uh, in most of the time we want our R markdown to be exported or to be printed in a very specific format. For example, we need it to have the figure width and height of six. We need a caption of this. And you know, it makes the code really ugly to look at when you try to edit it. So what you can do is actually put it in this format with the thing that we, we talked about just now. So it makes the code much easier to read and much easier to understand. Again, these two chunk will actually print out exactly the same thing. However, it just makes the code easier to read when you, know, you wanna make a nicer code of it. So the next one is also what I do very often is to actually convert RMD into R. So whether you are actually integrated in part of the automation process or some other reason that RMD cannot be supported. So maybe you're running in the command lines and you can't run RMD that easily. 
R makes it much easier to, sorry, a dot R script makes it much easier for those like uh, pipelining process. So you can convert thing with this command. However, you cannot run this command inside of your file. What you could do is open another file and make sure that in the same work directory and you can just run this uh, code inside a new script or you can just run it in a in a terminal directly right so it will just show you the output file is this and tips and trick dot r where you have converted this rmd file which is the one we're working with into a dot r so there are also different verbosity verbosity that you can adjust either is zero one or two so zero is the minimum while two is the maximum so i would suggest that you go and try it out and see what happens and again all of my code is available on github and you can actually go and download this directly in like a gigantic folder that i created okay so the next one is exit needing early with need exit so what this does is actually just stop the needing at a certain point uh, so that when you have an error after that, you don't actually get stopped on the whole thing. So this is very useful. For example, if you are still troubleshooting your code and your code is about 20 pages long, um, don't, don't do that. That's very bad practice. Try to break things down in a smaller chunk. Uh, but if you do want to do that for certain requirement of institution or partners and you want to put everything in one places and you don't want to rerun your machine learning every single time you need, you can actually include like a R need, exit need, so that you can test whatever above and make sure it works. And once everything is working, then of course you can go in and remove this code and export in at once. So you can do it like session by session so that, um, and it just speeds up your needing a lot faster. Okay, so you can also adjust here to actually not need a certain thing at a certain time, but we'll talk about it next time. Okay, so the last one is page break, which is here, uh, slash new page. So if you want, of course, like Microsoft Word, we always have a page break happen. We have a section break happen. This is one of those things. Then uh, you can just add slash new page to, to chunk everything out on the new page so that it, it again, it's just for you to make document looks nicer. I, I think Visual should not show it here. Yeah, Visual doesn't show it here very well because it's kind of a web page view, but when you need it into a PDF, then you can actually see it quite well. So let's just need it and see what happens. Whoop, it doesn't work. Mapping values are not allowed in. In line five, column 20, line 20, line five. PDF document, yep, there's two of this when I do, so I should do that and then need again. Yep, da -da -da, da -da -da. two contacts are uh, yam load anonymous. Um, yep, there seems to be some conflict with the needing code here as well as the output up there, which is why that caused an error. But once you've done that, you should get a PDF that looks somewhat like uh, uh, this. I, I will just edit that in, but you can also try it to export in your exit and you can actually see the patch break as well as the need exit very easily. Okay, so again, need, uh, one last thing, need exit here only works with the uh need exit only work with the chunk it doesn't work with the title so the title will still be exported if you realize that why that need exit that still have all this thing so it won't need the code but you will actually export the title inside your pdf as well so that's all the eight tips and tricks that i would like to share for today so thank you for watching and we'll uh, see you in the next session where there's a little bit more a boring thing that I wasn't talk about. So if you are still watching, I assume that you're more interested in things outside of our programming. So I haven't been posting much for the last few months because I've been going through the, the visa process. Of, so I've landed a new job in a new country and the last few months has been just getting documents ready getting the legalization ready, getting the visas ready, and then trying to figure out a time to fly set the downs and, and all the other stuff. So uh, I, I, I feel like you can actually see one of the change in environment on my last video where I actually, actually filmed in a hotel with terrible lightings and terrible voice. But now I finally set it out, so I try to come back and do more. But it's been, yeah, it's, it's been a busy few months and I hope that I can make more videos soon. So that's all I have to say for today. We'll hopefully see you all soon. And bye.